Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we are using up some book pages to make some fun storage ideas. Now if you don't happen to have these little cool little storage boxes from AliExpress that come uh, and I've just you know, you, they had other things in them, stickers and things, but I use them to store other little things that I make because they're really handy. But if you don't have these, we can make something similar out of book pages. Uh, we can make little boxes to store your stuff. And they're a little bit different design. They're basically a top and a bottom and they fit together. And let me show you one. They're great for storing things. And they're also great for gift giving as well. Okay, so this is an example of a little box that I made from book pages. And this is a classic design. There's zillions of uh, videos on this, but I just wanted to show you one making making it with book pages since we have so many book pages. All right, so I'm going to remove the lid. Here I go. And here inside are my little sticker collection. It's my little stickers. So there they are. See, very happy in here. Very cute. And there was no glue involved and uh, almost no measuring. I think uh, really no measuring per se, mostly just tearing. And um, I put a sticker on top so I would remember what was in here, a little tipperoo. And I just put some Nouveau drops around just for accents, not essential, but just for fun. You can do anything on it to decorate it. And I did ink the edges just because, you know, that's what we do, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this little... Uh, prototype over there. I'm going to get this page. Now this page is 11 by eight and a half. So he's basically the size of a copy paper. All right. But what we are going to do is we are going to turn him on his side. Let's make sure you're focused. Yeah. Okay. All right. Double check. Double, triple check. Yep. Okay. And uh, we are going to make a square and we're going to make a square by grabbing one corner and we're going to raise this up here until this little part here folds that little corner into a point. Let me show it to you from all sides so you can get what I'm talking about. Okay, then you bring this up here. All right, and you make sure it goes all the way. And then you want to fold this. And that's your first official fold. Okay, and now, so, so when you open it, you have that. Okay, but close, close it back up again just for a second. And then, can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Okay. Um, tear this off. Make sure you don't get the, you want to go just over the edge of that paper, just over it. Yeah. And you kind of want to be exact with this stuff because you're trying to make a square. So there, you know, just, you know, if perfection was needed, it's needed here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty darn close really helps. Okay. So what we do next is we're going to take each one of these uh, no, actually, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to ignore this line, okay? That's like it's not there. We don't have to worry about it. But we're basically just going to take this and we're going to fold it in half. And why don't you grab a paper and follow along with me? It's easier if you do it with me. And feel free to stop and rewind and slow me down and put me on slow speed and stuff like that. But I'll try and go slow and explain. Okay, so basically all we've done is we folded this thing in half. All right, so now we're going to take it and we're going to the bottom to the top and we're just going to fold it in half again. So basically what we're doing is we're creating the perfect center point in here because we folded it one way and then we folded it the other way, this way and then this way. Okay. Now I'm going to put a dot here so that you can see where the center is. Um, you don't have to put this here, but you can put a dot on if you want to on your own paper and then just erase it later. It doesn't matter. It just keep, gives you a visual. Okay, so now what we're going to do, so we're going to take, can you see this? Yeah. Okay, we're going to take each one of these corners and we're going to pull it into the center, to the dot. So here I go, number one, right to the center, not past the center, just to the center. Nice crease, make nice creases with thumb. I have no idea where my bone folder went, it's under my pile, my goose pile here somewhere. Um, that's okay though, we can, we can work with finger tools, they're awesome today. Yep, all right. Starting to look like an envelope at this point. If you're if you're doing it right, it should look like an envelope at this point. Right before you get the last one down. Oops. All right. And, and take your time doing this. Make sure you get it to the center point. That's going to be your key. And then the last one to the center point. Okay. And fold. So now we have another square with some flappies in the middle. This is what it should look like. Okay. All right. Not too hard so far. Okay. Now the next part is pretty easy, but, uh, and you're actually going to do it twice. So here's what we do. Okay. 
we're going to take the bottom, any side, doesn't matter, they're all the same, and fold it up to the center, okay, right to that center point. Make sure your end is even, end is even, center, and then finger tool or bone fold folder, fold, okay, nice crisp edge. Use your fingernail if you want. And then here, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to curl this side up and bring it to the center. All right. Now, were you nice and... Nope, see, you're off a little bit. Let me just readjust you to make you play by the rules. Okay, there we go. Uh, mine are never exact. Who are we kidding? Um, but basically, this is what you do. Okay. So now you've got something that looks like it's got two swinging doors. It's like two saloon doors. Okay, so if you did it right, it should look like that. So now you're going to do the exact same thing, but you're going to open it up. Fold these little flappies down. Oh, turn it towards you. No, turn it this way. Okay, this is the way it was. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it this way. Yep, that's where you might need to rewind. Okay, to the center. Measuring the, make sure, sure the edges are aligned, like flush flush okay rotating the whole piece repeating the same thing oh this is this is uh, suspenseful isn't it will it work will it work i don't know we're gonna find out we're gonna find out together here we go we're going deep today boy yep this is some serious origami stuff all right but hey a great way to use up book pages so why not okay so now we have these flaps and you said well we got rid of the other flaps it's okay it's okay because all we needed were the folds okay so now we open it up all right and now we're going to flip this up okay and we're going to take a look and what you're going to see is you're going to have a triangle here okay and what i want you to pay attention to are these two points on your triangle okay now what you're going to do is you are going to grab with your pinky finger, your, your index fingers, and you're going to pull in on those points, okay? And you're going to do this. I'm going to show you that again, okay? Okay, so you open it up, you got your triangle. Here's your triangle, right? Triangle at the top, okay? These two points, you're going to grab them, and you're going to pull, watch this, you're going to grab them and pull in, okay? Oh, make sure everything folds on along the lines. They should pretty much meet in the center, right? Right at that little point there, okay? And then you're going to, it's now forming one side, two sides. Now what you're going to do, it's kind of cool. It almost becomes a box right before your eyes. You flip this down, okay? And you tuck that in. You get a little crease -a there, okay? I'm going to show you that again. All right. Triangle in meeting right here at that little point right there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now what you're doing is you're taking this piece down here and you're kind of pushing it against here. So it's flush. So we now have this. See, it was like this and we're pushing it like that. See that? Like that. It's coming like that. Okay. So now you take this piece up here, we'll fold it down inside, inside your box, nice and crispy creases, and then fold nicely tuckies in that little corner there, that, that little flapperoo, and that's the bottom of your box. Rotate, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Like I said, there's a lot of repetition here. Okay, so we open that up, and what do you see? You see your triangle, right? Here's your triangle. So what are you grabbing? These two points of your triangle, got that? Okay, so you push them in, push them in, and then they're going to, let's see if you can see this, they're going to meet at that center point, okay? Triangle, meeting at that center point. Can you see that? Okay. And see how it's, let me show the side as I do it. It's, it's bringing that side of your box. See that? Out and in, okay? When you do that, then you got this little flapperoo again. You're going to tuck down into your box. Speaking of bugs, huh, okay. You know me and those nature pages. All right. And then we tuck it in there and flippity doo da, you've got a box. Yeah, isn't that cool? All right, now if I did it actually like 
everything was perfectly measured, it would be like a super tight square box and it would be perfect. Now I might probably mismeasured something over here or something got folded, but it's still pretty darn good. Not bad, right? Totally functional. Okay. Now, if you wanted to use this as a gift, you could stuff it with stuff and just make the lid or something like that. And you can also glue down these little flaps, but they don't really need to be glued down, especially if you're going to have something in there. And if you want to make a little more box like there, you can just kind of push in the sides. That helps too. Um, you can put a sticker here too. That would look cute. I have a sticker. We can do that. Okay, let's do that. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. I've got a sticker. All right. Yay, I got it off. Yay. Okay. All right, no sweat. I'm just going to ink my edges just for fun, just to have it little, pop out a little bit against the, the stuff. All right. And that's all. I'm going to put that down flat and I'm just going to stick my sticker down there. And that holds everybody in place. So that is an option for you. Um, okay, so let's make the top. Are we on time? Checking. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, now we're going to use the same book page. Now, remember that your top and your bottom need to be different sizes. And you're thinking, oh no, we have to measure. And I'm gonna say, no, no, don't fear not. We don't have to measure. I'll show you the trick. Okay, I smidged, smudged my Nouveau drops. Nobody noticed, please. Thank you. Anyway, my bottom is a little smaller than my top so that they, I did it again. They nest on top of each other like that, okay? All right, so now the way we get that, it's pretty easy. You're gonna love it and you probably already figured it out. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna fold this, making sure that we completely, this is, has to be like perfect. This is the most important thing. That has to be exactly like that, okay? And then you have, and then you bring that up here and you make sure that measure, aligns right with the edge of the paper. Don't go past, don't be short. That's how you get your perfect square. That's probably the most important moves in this whole thing. Did I get it? Nope, that wasn't it. Might have to do a little redo there occasionally. That's okay, but it's worth it. Take the time to do that because you'll be happier. Okay, it moved. <laughs> I want to get it in the center. Okay. Can I get it? All right. Am I in the shot? Let me back up a little bit. Oh, I'm in the shot now. There. Okay. There. Am I in the shot? There. There. Okay, everybody's in their place. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this pencil. Mush. There, that's going to give me a nice, that's the, cr the crease line I need. Okay, so that's measured up. That's measured up. That's really good. Okay. So last time, here's why I wrote Terry Gruller, I tore right at the paper's edge and tore the extra piece off. This time, I want my, I'm going to make my bottom. This is my top. This is going to be my bottom. My bottom needs to be a little bit smaller so that the top can nest over it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back off a little bit, maybe half an inch, a quarter of an inch is fine. I'm, I'm doing it about, I would say that, that much, that much. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that will be enough to make it fit. Okay. So let's just do that. All right. Not measuring, just doing. Okay. Didn't get, we got fuzzy furries, but it's not too bad. So we're not worrying about it. We have these extra lovely pieces of book page we can throw onto our eternal scrap pile and work with those forevermore. Okay, which side do I like better? Eh, doesn't matter really. Okay, same process, exactly the same process. We'll just go, I'll go a little faster this time, but you can kind of get the concept. I'm folding it in half. Oops, I'm sliding around. Just got to make sure you, I probably stuck my big head in there again, sorry. Um, you get those corners down. You get them matched up exactly. Okay, now here, same thing. Measure well. Measure once. Align once. Fold once. Okay. Creases, nice creases help. Gives a sharper box. Okay, so we have, we have folded like this and we folded like this. Okay, so now we're going to, I'll just show you the center again. Okay. So that's where the center is. Can you see that? Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring all of these to the center. Okay. There's one. Okay. There's two. I'm trying to only cover up a quarter of my dot each time. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Three. Three. Okay. And now it looks like an envelope at this point. And then I'm doing the last one to cover up the last little bit of my dot. All right, trying to make sure that my folds are nice and sharp. Okay, 
creasy. All right, so now we have a square again with the flappers. So now we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna make those little folding doors, okay? I'm gonna take the bottom and fold it up to the center. And I'm aligning on the sides, making sure the sides look good. And then I'm folding down. Okay, yep, everything's good there. Doing the same thing, turning it around, doing the same thing on this side, exact same thing to the center, aligning the edges and folding down. Okay, super easy so far, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna open up these doors and I'm going to pull the bottom up and make more doors, but they're gonna be going the other way. These are gonna be going this way now. And everything's gonna be okay, I hope. Okay. <laughs> All right, nice fold there, fingernail tool, and doing the same thing here. And honestly, once you do a bunch of these, it's much easier. Uh, so give yourself some wiggle room learning, learning curve, do a few of these, but you'll be cranking these out left and right. They're so easy and they're so fun, you might give up junk journaling, I'm telling you. You can just make boxes till the cows come home. It's so much fun. Um, okay, so we have this now. We have opened up our last set of doors. And we are going to pull one of the flaps up and that's going to reveal our triangle. Okay, here's our triangle. And then what we're aiming for, we're going to grab our sides of the box. We're going to grab these two points of the triangle. Okay, we're going to guide them in going slow. Guide them in going slow to the center. Okay. And then push up. See that? See how all of a sudden that makes like a little box? Yep. The same thing. We're going to flap that top flapper down. Okay. And then we're going to tuck. You can even fold it to get everything like nicey nice. There we go. All nice and tight. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Let's open up another flap up for it to get our triangle. Here's our triangle. Going to grab our triangle points. Going to push in towards the center. And that's going to pull the box up again showing pushing in i think this is the trickiest part and this comes in see and then that makes the side of your box okay and then you take that flap and you tuck it in just like you did the other one all right in you go no oh, no fussing no fussing all right sometimes it takes a little massage in there at the end because if there was any mismeasuring or miscalculations this is where it tends to show right now. You get like the wonky box. Um, sometimes these come out perfect. Sometimes they're not quite so perfect, but uh, you'll get better at it, I promise. Just try a few and uh, you got lots of book pages. So just go to town. Okay, and maybe I'll put a sticker there too, just to keep that down. Um, this is kind of cute, yeah. Let's see, okay, thinking positive. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I can do this. I can do, ah, oh, God did it. Yay. Okay. They're not so bad now. These, these white ones with the white rim, kind of nice. All right. Just a little, little inkaroo there and flattening this down so that when I stick it, everybody's where they should be. Okay. And everybody's where they should be. That's just going to hold everybody. That's not absolutely necessary. I just like it for the decoration. Um, but you can use blue or, or nothing. That's fine too. All right. So now we have what I call the center of the box. So here is the box we have just made. Give you a little tour around the box. Here I could have improved my folding a little bit better. More creasing, more exactness would be there. It's not too bad. That's okay, I think I fixed that. All right, so basically now here's the big test. Will it fit, will it fit? Well, let's hope so. They're all that fussing and mussing. There, I would call that fitting. That fits. All right, so if you wanna take it apart, just really grab it from the bottom and just pull it apart. And you can, let me get some doodads so I can, you can see. All right, here's some doodads. Maybe you wanna put these guys in there. All right, Put a whole bunch of those guys. Boy, they look like they take up a lot more room in here. Um, and there you go. You can just store them in here. You could maybe glue one on top to show what it is, or you could write a little label and put eyelets or something like that. Or, and these are stackable as well. And they're very sturdy. Um, this I would say is a little thicker than copy paper. Um, but you're like your average, you know, 1970s book page type thing. And I just went around and I inked mine up, not necessary. This was just, you know, 
fun. I thought it kind of gave it that, you know, it matched my journals with all the inking. That's what I think I thought. <laughs> all right. So there we go. And I could put a sticker on top if I wanted. And who do I want? Um, I could put you on there. All right. We'll put, we'll put you on there. How about that? No, not you. How about you? Yes, a little squirrel. Isn't that cute? That's very cute, right? Yeah. All right, so let's put squirrel on there. Oh, look, he's got a little edge off. Oh, yeah. Golden. Golden. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting squirrel down there just because. So there you go. Fun to be had for everyone concerned. Like I said, you can use these for gift boxes. You can use these... Um, you know, for um, happy, well, not happy mail, but happy gifts, I guess I would say. You know, if you wanted to give somebody a, a little set of uh, um, stickers or eyelets, because <laughs> that's what I have here. So basically, that's how they work. So I hope you like this little idea. It was very fun. Um, it's a fun little origami project. If you've never seen it before, it's worth taking a gander and giving it a, a try. Lots of fun. Take your time. Um, measure well and crease well and have lots of fun because that's what we're all about. So this is a very inexpensive way to make some awesome looking storage. I just, I just think it's really cool. And um, like I said, you can, you can stack these, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, they look really cool on a shelf too. So if you found value here, please like, subscribe, and share. We have the um, 10,000 subscriber giveaway contest, which is going to be drawn on February 1st. So make sure you comment in that video. If you're looking for that video, uh, check the description box below and there's a link to the subscriber contest um, vid uh, playlist, which is near the bottom and you'll find that video. And uh, you'll find the other playlists like the Using Up Book Pages uh, entire episode series there. It's in a playlist called Using Up Book Pages. And I started a new um, episode series slash playlist called Journal Page Layout Ideas. So you can also find that link below. I think there's a journal construction uh, for basic how-tos on how to make journals, uh, covers and signatures. And there's also another playlist for uh, ju my junk journal flip through. So if you want to see some of the journals that I've made along the way and that I sold, you can see them in there. And uh, what else? Um, oh, we opened the Facebook page, so that is rocking and rolling. We are doing weekly challenges, which are fun and simple, and anybody can do them. We are also doing monthly challenges, which may be a little bit more involved, but would stretch your creative brain and creativity. So, look forward to those, and we're going to have special, some special contests and giveaways just in the group. All you have to do is join the group. Um, I did a video on how to join the group. I did a podcast on how to join the group, but basically you just go over to the Facebook page and click visit group and then you click join and then you will be added to the group and uh, you just answer a few questions read the rules um, and it's a lot of fun where it's a really nice supportive positive encouraging environment and I think I think it's going to be a really good space for folks to share ideas and uh, you can up, uh, upload your pictures of things that you're making maybe you saw a video that I made and you wanted to show uh, the rest of us what you made please feel free to post there uh, we don't do swaps and we don't do selling on the site but it is a place for you to uh, share what you make related to paper outpost stuff and um, uh, just a place to uh, share ideas like somebody had a great question about glues today so we did our best to answer that and everybody chimed in and you know gave their thoughts about glues and it's it's good to learn from many you know we should listen to as many voices as possible and and this is I've had so many ahas aha moments from you guys sharing tips with me uh, like some, I haven't done this yet I really I'm gonna do it right now after this video somebody suggested that I'm I am eternally looking for my pin I always take my pin out of my art glitter glue and then I put it on the table and I lose it. And she suggested I glue a magnet here and that way I can always put my pin here. And I thought, oh, what a great idea. Somebody else suggested a little mini pin cushion to hold the pins. And you know, what a brilliant idea that was. That's a great idea too. So just some fun, amazing ideas. You know, you know we've all been doing this. Um, many of us have been doing it for a while and we've come across some ideas. But when you, when you connect to the group think, the group mind, wow, then, then you know, it, it can really help you get past some um, stumbling blocks that we all experience. And there's no, no one person can figure out everything. It's, it's uh, awesome to be able to share ideas and, and learn from each other. So I hope you check it out. I hope you come on over. It's free. You can join. Have fun. Be happy. It's your special place just to play and, and uh, uh, have fun. So 
You can also find me on the podcast. They come out every Tuesday and Thursday. And uh, I post uh, when a new podcast comes out on the regular Facebook page. And I'm, I'm trying to also do it on Pinterest. I don't think I've done it yet on Instagram. But, you know, this, this whole social media world. Whew, my goodness. Okay. So um, I'm trying to stay focused on just producing the videos because I, I really like doing those and putting out lots of, uh, you know, ideas uh, for everybody. So, and I have a lot of fun with it. I love playing with paper. So I could play with paper all day this is definitely my happy place so um, no problem there um, so there's lots to come I have a journal with pages full of ideas so fear not there's tons to come um, I love hearing your ideas too if you have an idea for a video that you'd like to see me make feel free to shoot it over I'll put it on the idea list you know um, the more to pick from the merrier I think that's awesome also check out the community tab on the what's the time check here Check out the community tab on my channel page and uh, sometimes I do polls and questionnaires and things like that there to get a uh, finger on the pulse of what you guys are thinking or what you would like to see um, the paper outpost uh, do or express or you know talk about um, or show or something like that. I, I like uh, the feedback from you guys because um, you know I get tired of listening to myself talk I like to, <laughs> I like to get input from you guys I love reading your comments and everything I may not be able to get back to every single comment everywhere all the time but I do my darndest and I definitely read them all so um, I your input is very valuable to me I really really appreciate the time it takes I know you guys are taking time out of your day your busy day to take the time to watch and to comment so thank you thank you very much for that and what else um, there was something else and I can never remember everything, but <clears throat> that's it for now. And there'll be more videos coming. So happy crafting and take care, everybody. Remember, fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. Bye.